Based on a recently published Tesla patent application for a steer-by-wire system, it appears like we could see steer-by-wire used in future Tesla vehicles. Let's discuss what's revealed in this Tesla patent application and also talk about the benefits of a steer-by-wire system and which Tesla vehicles might include such a system in the future. I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. Steer by wire is exactly um, what it sounds like. Instead of having a mechanical connection between the steering wheel and the driving wheels, um, there is instead an electrical connection. Now steer by wire, it's not a new technology. However, it's not yet common in the auto industry. However, it has been used in the aviation industry for some time. According to the Capital One Auto Navigator website, quote, by wire technology has been used in aviation for decades without issue. In addition, Nissan with their premium Infinity brand offers what they call direct adaptive steering, which is a steer by wire system, but this system still includes a mechanical connection to the wheels for backup purposes. In addition, Toyota developed a true steer by wire design with no uh, mechanical connection between the steering wheel and the driving wheels for the all electric BZ4X and the Lexus 450E. But as far as I can tell right now, as of right now here in mid 2023, those vehicles in the United States market are not being sold right now with steer by wire, but that's supposed to come in the future. So once again, this technology is not necessarily new, but it's not yet common in the automotive sector. Now, when it comes to some of the benefits of a steer by wire system, here's how EV startup Canoe explains the benefits of their system. Quote, steer by wire offers weight savings and paves the way for autonomous driving. We have complete freedom to locate the steering wheel to suit any cabin design and driver position. It also leads to a more responsive and smoother driving experience. Since steer by wire eliminates the need for a mechanical connection, there is more freedom to arrange the interior space of the vehicle to provide customers with exciting new vehicle options. Now, when it comes specifically to Tesla and how Tesla might benefit from a steer by wire system, um, when Tesla boldly introduced yoke steering with a refreshed Model S and X as the only option for steering, it was received with very mixed feelings with some loving the yoke and others not so much. Now, of course, Model S and X buyers have a choice between a traditional steering wheel, which comes standard, or a $250 upgrade for yoke steering. While yoke steering is um, great at higher speeds, at lower speeds, it would work better with a variable steering ratio, which is actually something that everyday astronauts suggested on Twitter back in June of 2021, to which Elon replied, quote, I've been driving with the yoke for a while and it's great IMO. Progressive steering would require complex gearing or drive by wire without direct mechanical link. We'll aim for that in a few years. In addition, once again, on this same topic, Elon also wrote on Twitter in late November 2021, quote, variable gain steer by wire yoke would be ideal. Now with this recent patent application, um, it sure appears like a Tesla steer by wire system could be a reality in the future. On June 15th of 2023, this Tesla patent application was published and it's entitled steer by wire. Specifically in this patent application, this system is described as quote, without a mechanical link, and it does quote, include redundancy to reduce faults and avoid failures. As this patent application goes on to describe, a traditional steering system with a mechanical link can still be somewhat complicated, not only with the steering mechanism itself, but also a power assist system as well. So it's not like a traditional steering system is completely simple. Specifically, when it comes to designing the interior of a vehicle, Tesla goes on to talk about a big benefit as, quote, for example, a steer by wire system allows flexible positioning of the hand wheel on the vehicle, whereas a traditional steering system requires the hand wheel to be placed at a fixed location. Despite the benefits, a steer by wire system still needs to have some kind of built in redundancy. And in Tesla's case, um, since it has no mechanical connection, that redundancy has to be electrical in nature. This patent application does go on to describe uh, previous approaches, and I believe 
They're referring specifically here to Nissan's approach of having a mechanical connection in addition as a backup to the electrical connection. Instead, the system that is described in this patent application includes several redundancies, including a backup road wheel actuator, a backup power supply, and a backup communication network. Now, beyond a smoother driving experience, meaning basically when you don't have a mechanical connection to the steering wheel and the driving wheels, that if you go over bumps, you don't feel vibration in the steering wheel. Beyond that, and beyond variable steering, which could especially be beneficial um, for yoke steering, beyond those benefits, I believe one of the biggest benefits really comes down to the fact that since Tesla hopes to have autonomous vehicles in the future, steer by wire is really well suited to that application. Eventually, fully autonomous vehicles will not need a steering wheel, and it makes sense for Tesla to start building for the future by equipping future vehicles with a steer-by-wire design. This would allow such steer-by-wire equipped vehicles um, to have the steering wheel deleted in the future without really a major redesign um, since there is no mechanical connection. Now, there is one other side benefit, and I don't know if this is a benefit right away, um, but at scale, I do believe that a steer by wire design would be less expensive to manufacture because once again, a traditional mechanical steering system is not really a simple system. It has the connections itself, but then you also have the power assist system. So it's not as if that's a really simple system. Once again, as was described in this Tesla patent application. But um, when it comes to uh, more affordable vehicles in the future, like the compact Tesla, this could be a good fit. With that being said, when it comes to what vehicles that I believe this could be well suited for in the future, the yoke equipped Tesla Model S and X um, would of course be a great place to start. Um, since Elon specifically mentioned the benefits of such a system for this application. And while it may be too soon, I think there is at least a small possibility that the new Model 3 Highland Refresh, what if that vehicle has a steer-by-wire system? Um, I think the chances of that are pretty low, but I think there is a small chance that that could happen because once again, I believe that could lead to cost savings. In addition, when it comes to the compact Tesla, um, which is supposed to be built at Tesla's Gigafactory in Mexico in the future, I would be really surprised if that vehicle does not include a steer-by-wire system um, because I believe that could once again help Tesla lower the cost. In addition, it could make a lot of sense for the Cybertruck to also have such a system. Of course, we'll have to wait and see in the future, but I think that a lot of Tesla vehicles could benefit from such a system. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, if you currently own a Tesla Model S or X that has yoke steering, please let us know in the comments section below how you uh, like yoke steering, and also if you believe that your vehicle would benefit from a variable uh, steering ratio with say a steer by wire design. Let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. And also I wanna say a special thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.